Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and also, also the author of Costco Financial Report for 2020. And what I'd like to do today is introduce you all to the financial model that I created and used when I determined or when I analyzed Costco's financial statements for their income statement, their balance sheet, and also various financial ratios. So what I've done is I created that financial model. I took Costco's most recent information that was released in their 10K. I summarized it, plugged it into my financial model, and from that point in time, the financial ratios were calculated and a lot of other aspects of the uh, reports from Costco's financial report were uh, summarized where I was able to um, you know, dive into it and pro provide you know some in-depth examinations of their various financial positions. Um, so for this video, what I do want to do is introduce you all to that actual financial model that I used. Please keep in mind, if you purchase the Costco financial report, you do not get the financial model. That is mine to play with and keep. Um, but what you do get is an in-depth examination of the income statement, the, the balance sheet, and you know up to over 10 different financial ratios for the organization. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the financial model that I used. So what I did if for the financial model, let's start with examining the executive team. Um, took a look at their executive pay and just, you know, compared it to the industry and see if it's, you know, a higher, lower, or, you know, where is it as compared to other competitors? So just based on my real quick review of the executive team, their pay looks pretty in line with other executives in, um, in their industry. The next thing that I did is I went ahead and I calculated the 52 week stock prices. So I included a chart showing the progress for the organization from December of 19 all the way to May or even June of 19. The company fluctuated between, you know, $330 to, you know, with the lows in the you know, 280s. However, as the uh, pandemic took hold and took off, so did Costco stocks, ending the year closer to the high uh, 350s as compared to where they were just 12 months earlier. So the stock's price is going pretty good, and we can tell as the, as the pandemic, as the rebound took hold, Costco stocks, um, they, they kind of correlated with the economy. Next thing I did was I took a look at their dividend payout policy. You know, for the most part, their dividend payout policy is pretty good. Uh, their dividend payouts for the since two, from 2015 to 2019, they increased on a consistent basis dollar wise. So it started at $1.55, went to $1.75, $1.95, $2.28, $2.60, $2.70, $2.80, $2.90, $2.95, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90, $2.90
in 2008 and 2016, their cash position as compared to sales was 2.8 percent. But in 2020, their cash position is 7.4 percent. So if there is a downfall um, or a challenge for the organization to face and to correct, it's their management of cash. It seems like they're holding too much cash as compared to sales where they can be divesting that money into paying higher dividends, uh, reinvesting into the company, starting, you know, building up some more stores, expanding some into some new territories. Do something except keep the money in cash. Hell, put the money into your uh, financial, into your short-term investments. That's le at least it's making some kind of money as compared to just sitting in a checking account. The next thing I did for my financial report was I went ahead and calculated five years worth of ratios for liquidity, asset utilization, profitability, and also for long-term debt. And then what I did is I summarized about 11, 10 or 11 different financial ratios to give you all an idea of how the company is performing from different perspectives. So for example, here, current ratio, the organization ended 2016 at 0.98. As we all know, the current ratio is the, the um, assets divided by liabilities. And anything above 1.0 is considered to be a solvent company. Right now, the organization is at 0.98. The beautiful thing about Costco is they are generating revenues on a daily basis. They're, they're getting cash coming in every single day. In industries such as that with Walmarts and Targets and um, other competitors that are, follow the same business model, they are able to operate at a much lower current ratio, usually about 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So based on that, um, industry-wise, the company seems to have a little too high of a current ratio compared to the golden rule of 1.0 that the company is right where they need to be um, for the last five years. They might even be a little bit higher because in 2020, their current ratio is 1.13. So in my most humble of opinions, the organization is definitely mismanaging their current assets. They should be operating at a much lower current ratio, a 0.7, a 0.8, even a 0.9 would be acceptable. But when they are running at a 1.1, it kind of tells me that their current assets, like their um, cash positions specifically, that money could be divested and utilized in the organization in a better way to be more profitable or to be more efficient. So hopefully you, you all enjoyed this little preview of the financial model that I created and used when I wrote the Costco financial report. And if y'all would like to go ahead and purchase that Costco financial report, all you have to do is go over to my website at qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash Costco financial statements and financial ratios. And on this website, what you'll be able to do is a purchase. And this needs to be updated right here because it's 2016 to 2020. Uh, but just you know, go ahead and purchase the report and enjoy. Just again, keep in mind, you will get a PDF file. There will be no financial model included in it. And but I, I think you're going to get some insights into how the company is doing from a financial perspective. And hopefully you all enjoyed this video and you will enjoy my financial report. And as always, have a fantastic day. Thank you.